Hi viewers, welcome back to our online training in uh, Sable 3D. So to right now, I'm going to show you how we can now create a corridor. A corridor is just a road eh, being displayed in, in, uh, in a particular surface or in this particular parcel of land. So before you create a corridor, you must have four, three components, no, four components. When you're creating a corridor, you must have your surface, you must have an uh, uh, alignment, you must have profile views, you, you must have assemblies. So let's now see how we can create an assembly. I'm going to show you how you can create an assembly based on these two alignments which I've created in my surface. So first of all, since now I have my assemblies created, I can now come to corridor. So when you click on the corridor, in the corridor, create corridor, you give it a name. So I can create corridor for uh, maybe street, street one, I can just give it a name. And then you can see you pick an alignment. So I'm doing a corridor for first street. So when you're creating a corridor, we have a, an alignment, we have a profile, we have an assembly. Mm. So the ones that I created earlier is called first street, and then this is called full road section. So you can pick either of these mm, and see how they they work. So for the first street, I can do first street. So remember when you're creating a corridor, you must have an alignment, you must have a profile view and an assembly, and also the target surface. You have to pick a target surface which you already created as uh, our, our existing ground surface. So those are the four main components when you're creating a corridor, you must indicate. Then just click OK. So when you click OK, I leave everything by default, then I click Apply. Then you just click Rebuild the Corridor. Then you click OK. Yes. So when you look into our parcel, now this is my corridor which has been created based on our assembly which we specified. So this is our corridor based on the components that we had put, put on the assembly. So it will cut based on the parameters that we had created. So that's our corridor. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a corridor for street two. So I come to corridor again. I give it a name for second street. And then I pick an alignment, second street, profile, give it that, an assembly, and road, primary road, and target surface, I just leave that. Then I click OK. Then I click Apply. Mm -hmm. Then click on Rebuild the Corridor. Then you click OK. Yes, so viewers, you can see I've created a corridor for two alignments. So I have my corridor one and corridor two. Corridor four, uh, alignment one, and corridor four, alignment two, based on the assemblies which you have created here. So when you're creating a corridor, you can even create a corridor using one assembly, because maybe the parameters of those roads are the same, and the components and the materials used will be the same. Or you can pick, you can create assemblies for two, if there are maybe two corridors. So this one now will help us now to create our report. So after creating the corridors, now here, for example here now you can see we have a, an intersection. So I can also create my intersection. So, so you can see how much land to be cut and fill in this particular junction here. So I come to what we call intersection. I can create my intersection, or you can create a roundabout. Mm. So let me start with intersection. Intersection works when where the two where there are two uh, corridors or alignments cutting through or intersecting at a particular point. So for our case, we want to create my my intersection there. Always you'll see that icon when you zoom. This is our alignment one and alignment two. So where they meet 
is where now you can create your intersection and see how intersection works. So when I come to intersection, I click, and then from the command line, it's showing me to see an intersection point, which is already shown there. Uh, that's a minute sign. Just click an intersection point. And, uh, it takes time, so let's just give it time, viewers, as it creates the intersection for my two corridors which have, we have created. Just give it time. Yeah, let's just give it time, viewers, and see how our intersection can be created. I think it's processing from the screen you can see it's just taking some time Point. Hmm. It's trying to locate that particular point, but uh, it is hanging. So as it prepares to produce the intersection for the corridors, uh, so after creating our intersection, so based on this now we can Mm -hmm. Let me just pick that point. That's the intersection point. That's where the point I want to insert my intersection. Seems that is taking time. I think we can we ca will re revisit that in our next lesson as we continue to see how now we can also create intersection viewers. It's taking time. It's a process, so I think we just have to wait shortly. Let me just exit. Yeah. So we'll revisit that uh, there's a problem with the, with the creation. So we'll check that later. And then we we'll continue. So viewers, that's how we create corridors in our surface by specifying design profile using assemblies and also surface and our profiles.
So that's how we create corridors in Civil 3D. So in our next lesson, I'll show you how now we can create uh, section views for each, how our corridors mm, cut through the section of the surface that we have created our road network system. Thank you so much viewers.